Um, moving on from that one, we have this news. This really pissed me off, the BBC. It really pissed me off. And this really reminded me, do you remember when the whole GameStop, Wall Street bets thing was going on? That felt like a time in our lives when suddenly the working man, the working class man, the middle class man, the average guy on the street, the average man, woman on the street had a chance to fucking, you know, disrupt the establishment, had a chance to fucking take on the big wigs, to take on the financial institutions, to take on the stock market. And guess what they did? They infiltrated Robinhood. Remember the app we were using to buy our stocks and stuff? They intrud they in they fucking infiltrated Robinhood and they got they got Robinhood to stop their users from buying more shares of, of fucking GameStop. Do you remember that? You could sell your stocks you had, but you couldn't buy more. The fucking market, the stock market had an influence in basically squeezing, um, I forgot what they called them, um, fucking penny stock fucking guys from making any money on the marketplace. And it drastically changed everything. And it showed you that the world is rigged. The world is actually legitimately rigged. The game is fucking rigged and you just have to find a way to rig it in your favor. But it is definitely rigged. No one plays by the rules. And if anything, the higher ups are always consistently trying to keep you down, trying to keep you down. And sometimes they try and keep you down with a smile on their face. Sometimes they try and keep you down by reassuring you, no, everything's okay. And sometimes the most offensive, the most offensive and rude and downright evil is when they tell you, is when they keep their foot on your head, but they convince you that you have a chance to be them. All you need to do is what? pull yourself up by your bootstraps, just work hard, just focus, just have a passion, <laughs> don't think about the money, just think about the work, it doesn't matter, at some level, there's always going to be a ceiling, because these motherfuckers don't want to you to take their positions, that's the truth of it, and if you think I'm lying, and you think I'm being too cynical, look at this headline, Airbnb and eBay, Vinted and other apps are sharing their information with HMRC, HMRC are requesting information from Airbnb, eBay, Vinted and other apps. And guess who exists on those other apps? Guess what those apps were used for? As a vessel for working class, middle class people to make some extra money, to make some extra income, to maybe, who knows, slowly but surely climb their way out of the fucking poverty that they're in to maybe ascend up the fucking class ladder, to maybe afford a house, to maybe afford a car, a second home, a holiday home, uh, to put a fucking money down for home for their kids growing up, to put some money into savings, to build some wealth, whatever it may be. That was the only way people, regular folks like you and I, could legitimately go from having no money to some money sell some stuff on ebay maybe put your fucking room available uh, on fucking airbnb maybe rent a place and or maybe sorry maybe get a, a, a mortgage on a place and a small flat and list it up on airbnb maybe sell some stuff on vineyard all these things you do as a way of kind of like it's like an upward mobility fucking tool and look at what the government look at what the tax man is doing look at what the fucking tax man is doing trying to infiltrate you making some extra money on fucking ebay and vinted are you silly this is the greatest example of how rigged the fucking game is and it is so slyly depressing it can make you cry it can actually make you cry because the truth is <laughs> They let you get away with what you get away with, actually. You think you're finessing the game, but they just let you get away with it until there comes a time when they're like, we want to collect some money. There's some monies we're not collecting over there. We see it. We're going to fucking take it. That's the actual reality of it. That's the truth. And that's why it makes it so insulting when people that have money are like, oh, just pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Or people that are born into privilege. Or people that are born into wealth. Forget money. People that are born into wealth that brings with it connections. That brings with it contacts. That brings with it just legacy things that are entrenched that money can't buy. I think in the UK is a good example of it. At least in the US, for me personally, I feel like in the US, if you're able to, you can you can kind of pull yourself out of your bootstrap. But in the US, if you amass a certain amount of money, you can always, you can be in a room with Barack Obama, right? 
But I feel like in the UK, that doesn't exist. In the UK, our class systems are rigid. No matter how much money I ever make in my life, there's probably never going to be a situation where I'm in the same room as fucking Prince William. It's never going to happen because we just don't live in the same worlds, you know? But at least in America, you have this idea. You have this sort of like fantasy that you can be in the same room as an Oprah. No, it's not the same thing, but you know what I mean, right? As a Barack, Barack, Barack Obama, as a fucking George Bush and shit. But in the UK, it's super rigid. So at least with Airbnb Vinted and stuff, you get a chance to kind of, you know, some upper mobility. You can maybe shake it and break it a little bit. You might get a little award somewhere. You might be got some gala and bump into them. But now HMRC are getting involved and they're going to try and tax you on your fucking income you make on Airbnb. Imagine, imagine, man, imagine. These people just don't stop. They don't stop bleeding you dry, right? Don't stop bleeding you dry. Anyway, let's read the article because of the BBC. It says, are you raking in, are you raking it in selling clothes online? Is letting out your spare room proving a nice little earner? People who make more money from online side hustle activities like these will find tax net is tightening this year. Are you insane, bro? Side hustles are going to get taxed. Oh, from January 1st, firms included Vinted, Airbnb and eBay are obliged to collect and share details of transactions with tax authorities. That will allow HMRC to home in on anyone who would be declaring extra income but isn't. So now you have to declare if you fucking resell a pair of fucking Panda Dunks on eBay. Are you fucking nuts? Honestly, are you absolutely nuts? You're reselling a, a fucking pair of Panda Dunks for $50 extra just to give you some money to go to the fucking pub, right? Or to maybe go and have a nice burger somewhere or to maybe, I don't know, fucking train travel to fucking Brighton somewhere and now you're going to get taxed on it. Come on, bro. Come on. While well, HMRC are already able to request information from UK-based online operators, from the start of this year, there'll be new rules that the UK has signed up to via the international body, the Organization of Economic Corporation Development, OECD, as part of the global effort to clamp tax dodgers. Clamp tax It's to put more money in their fucking cot. And again, I'm not opposed to fucking taxes, but do they actually get used for anything that's going to bring us any fucking use? Are the fucking roads paved? right do we still have a crazy homelessness issue especially where i live in, the, in this part of london it's fucking obscene i step outside my flat and it's covered in fucking piss and there's tents everywhere and people fighting fucking over biscuits and stuff it's horrible do you know what i mean if my tax money was getting used to fucking hose them down the street somewhere fair enough but no i have fucking you know you fucking you know heroin junkies on the street corner here fighting over a digestive biscuit and you'll want me to give you more tax money from eBay selling, from eBay reselling. Are you serious? Are you serious? So StockX is taxing me, right? I'm getting fucking tax, st taxed by StockX. I'm going to get taxed by fucking whatever eBay platform I'm selling on, taxed by Depop and Vinted, and now the tax man is coming after me. Ha ha ha, I fucking love it. Let's keep going. The new rules require digital platforms to report the income sellers are getting through the site routinely. It will apply to sales of goods such as things that have been handcrafted. <laughs> They're going to come after the Etsy girls. The Etsy girls making cute little handmade jewelry. They're going to come after them. The girls that are making fucking handmade soap and shit. You're going to, honestly, you're going to come after girls making handmade soap and candles. Really? For extra money to pay for fucking diapers and shit and whatever. Like, come on, bro. Come on. Give us a break. Give us a fucking break, man. God damn. But also services including taxi hire, food delivery, freelance work and short-term accommodation. So everybody's getting it. All these kids on fucking e-bikes and on fucking modified m mountain bikes with electric motors on the front wheel and fucking crazy scooters that have been modded. All those guys are gonna get are gonna get taxed now. You're gonna get you're gonna tax the kid that's fucking doing runs from fucking McDonald's every fucking Saturday morning. Really, really, really. You're not going to go for anybody else up above, no? You're not going to go for the multi-millionaires or the billionaires. No, you're going to tax the kid that's fucking delivering me my bloody Burger King. Really? Really? That's who needs to be taxed? Come on, bro.
The government said the new rules would help to bear down on tax evasion. Why don't you bear down on tax evasion for now? You know who dodges taxes the most? Yes, bitch, you guessed it. The people that have the most money. If you have the most money, you're the one most willing to dodge taxes because obviously, if you're a fucking multi-millionaire, your taxes you're paying are crazy. So the ones who tax dodge the most are the fucking multi-millionaires. Those are the ones that need to get clamped down on, not fucking the working class man or woman just earning a living to pay rent and the mortgage. What the fuck is going on, bro? God damn it. Damn it, man. HMRC spokesman says new rules will support our work to help online sellers get their tax right first time. They will also help us detect any deliberate non-compliance ensuring a level play a level playing field. That's the I swear that's a fucking pull yourself up by your bootstraps is what pirates were told after walking the plank. Same with meritocracy. Dude who coined it was being sarcastic. There we go. But they took it literally. Exactly, NJ Ranger. There we go. Thank you for the fucking etymology of pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Isn't that fucking crazy, eh? The actual, we, we use it now as a term to tell fucking poor people or people that don't have ambition to fucking figure it out. As Tom Segura would say, right? Figure it out. I did it. You can do it too. Oh, bitch, really? What was your dad doing then before he died? You fucking cunt. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Come on. Ensure a level... Not even a double... Isn't that like an oxymoron? Ensuring a level playing field for all taxpayers. The whole nature of fucking tax paying in fucking invites people to dodge and to fucking finagle it. There is no level playing field. You know, there's only a level playing field when you have the money and the means and the access and the time and the intelligence to fucking dodge in the first place. Regular person, you just fucking it just comes out of your paycheck. You have no fucking option. Before you even before you even scream and shout, you open your paycheck, you're like, ah fuck. Anyway. Firm's first obligation to report to HMRC will be the end of January 2025 with liquid information such as tax ID and bank account details, the value of the volume of transactions and sellers whose activity um, is significant size enough. What do I need to do? Online sellers already paying tax do not need to alter. If you must be a real goody two-shoes if you are selling a couple of bits and bobs on Depop and you're paying taxes on it. You must be a real fucking Randall, a real goody two-shoes, a real jobs worth, a real, is there anything else I can do, miss? You must be one of those fucking knobheads if you're paying voluntarily taxes on fucking shit you're selling on Vinted, on Poshmark and shit. Are you having a laugh? Are you having a laugh? Unless they force me to do it, I ain't doing it. Resistance. <laughs> Fight the power. <laughs> Imagine I go to pen. Imagine I go to fucking prison for refusing to pay taxes on some fucking Jordan 4s I resold. <laughs> oh, I'll be beautiful, man. Free Agostino, man. He tried to he tried to go, catch a quick lick of some sneakers shoes and you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> That fucking mug shot, I'll be looking, wait, I'll be like, oh, mug. anyway, let's continue. Individuals have 1,000 tax free allowance for money made through property. There's also 1,000 pounds allowance for trading income, for example. People earning below those thresholds may not have to fill in tax returns, but could keep records cases if they are asked for them. Adam J, chief executive of the second-hand marketplace Vinted, told BBC he did not believe the new rules would affect many of the sellers. It's actually quite a small proportion of sellers on the platform who trigger the threshold where we need to provide information. Okay, cool. So most sellers don't make that much money, really and truly. Under the sets of rules by the EOCD, by the, e e so the OECD, firms will not be asked to share data with sellers who make fewer than 30 transactions a year that's still that's still not that much you know if you buy a couple of hype sneakers that's not a lot if you buy a couple of decent like imagine last year if you bought like a couple fucking travis scott shoes and shit you could easily make 1000 plus on those reselling them easy easy so you know but then again if this keeps happening guess what's gonna happen People are just going. To, people are just going to back, go back to Facebook, because Facebook for a while was. I don't know if it's still booming, but Facebook for a while was booming 
for the fucking um, reselling market of sneakers and shit. There's all these groups you can go on and they, they they run pretty well. There's a good vetting system around it. There's legit sellers on there that have good reputation so you can trust sending the money because they've kind of got good rep with the community in there. They also are really quick to ban and get rid of fucking scammers and shit. They expose them really quickly but it all gets dealt with directly so you can meet people up, you can transfer money via PayPal, cash up, all that shit. So it cuts out all the marketplace and the platform. So if you don't want to sell it, on, if you don't want to sell stuff on eBay and Vinted and all those places, you can just go on, you know, community pages. Like I'm sure there's telegrams that exist that do the same thing. Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, they probably exist where you just like buy and sell shit. So if they keep coming, people like myself and others who don't want to pay these fucking taxes, we will find a way. We will find a way. We will find a way. Um, it continues. Um, the guy says here, the CEO of, sorry, the CEO, sorry, the, who's it? The CEO of Vinted says, it's only those people who are making profit from selling secondhand items that might be eligible for tax. And that is about their own personal tax situation. The tax will ultimately be due to GMTRC. We'll be actively reaching out to those sellers and explaining the new requirements as they um, are, the requirements are why they exist. Emma Rawson, tax expert of the Association of Taxation Technicians, told the BBC Today's programme that the new rules could still put off some people who might be wary of income incurring taxes. The key things to think about, um, she said, were whether or not that you were selling um, a, amounted to a trade where you might proactively be buying clothes to sell on, for example. Isn't that most people? So all those girlies online on Depop and stuff that made, in, like, imagine all those girlies online that made their entire careers who started off brands um who's that one woman um nasty girl right that that nasty girl woman i forgot her name but then she started off doing the same thing then she started selling little shits on fucking depop and then she built it up and then started making her own brand entire fucking i think the entire girl boss um basically term came off the back of selling cute little shits on marketplaces and stuff and going from there so all those girls that were able to kind of build themselves up from literally the ground up and start entire movements brands companies that now employ hundreds of thousands of people inspire all these girls around the world there will be no more because motherfucking hmrc when they get in people's pockets are you for real you're gonna stop all that entrepreneur all that all that amazing entrepreneurial spirit that exists you're going to stop all of that amazing energy around people. You're going to stop the dependence. And again, you see how fucking corrupt and fucking rigged this shit is. All those girlies, all those fashion girlies and boys on Depop and Vinted and all the stuff that were selling their shoes, their clothes on there, creating their own little boutique that would turn into a physical store, that might turn into a consultancy firm, that might turn into a fucking consignment shop, that might turn into them being a consultant, a brand expert, whatever. That was their vehicle to kind of go against the industry, to kind of go against the fucking the, 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 the scene. You didn't have to go and lick ass somewhere you don't have to go and intern somewhere you can just learn by doing buying old shit selling it on fucking on the sites maybe buying some stuff styling it well and then you could kind of circumnavigate going through the industry but now what they're basically doing is that they're stumping your ability they're stunting your ability they're pushing you down for you to do your own thing so that we have to do now you have to go back to the fucking industry the same place you're trying to run away from you're trying to make your own lane you now have to go and acquiesce kiss the ring bow down give him your fucking arsehole so you can be involved you see what's happening it's all fucking rigged it's all rigged hate it mate fucking hate it they always fight and again it reminds me so much of wall street bets it reminds me so much of wall street bets there was an app called robin hood where you could buy penny stocks and shit right you could buy small fractions of companies listed on the fucking stock market you could buy them yourself from the comfort of your own fucking smartphone right and the the fucking people on wall street bets subreddit they saw all these greedy finance stock market guys short selling the stock of gamestop basically trying to preempt its demise so all these fucking amazing guys on wall street bet said you know what fuck that we're gonna counteract that shit they bought up all the stock they drive up the fucking value of the fucking stock they killed the fucking stock guys they got upset and then those guys made a call 
to the Robin Hood CEO, that Vlad dude, right? They put in a call and he halted. He halted purchases. They were that strong. They were able to influence an app that has nothing to do with the government, nothing to do with the stock exchange for something. They were able to get in, infiltrate a fucking, uh, an infiltrating app that's funny enough titled, you know, Robin Hood, still from the fucking rich to give to the poor. But instead, guess what? They stunned the poor to help the fucking rich. That showed you that the game was rigged. This is another example of the game is rigged. It's fucking horrendous. I fucking hate it. I really do. Yeah, exactly. Even people saying even people saying in the chat, money, um, money, money said trickle up or, or tick, money said tick trickle up, um, or from the middle out, not trickle down. Exactly. Um, what you call it? I believe it's tax free. Anything sold under twelve k profit says Mister Mister Mace. Okay, cool. Um, I still don't want. I still don't want any taxes at all. No taxes. I am since PayPal and Zelle. All the money sending apps are being taxed or have to be reported on taxes if you send or receive certain amount. Yes, yeah, it's, it's awful. It's awful. They know what they're doing, man. They know what they're doing. It's getting harder and harder to do anything out here. Exactly. That's why. That's why crime pays, and that's why people lie. If you have, if you want any example why actually crime does pay, and why people lie, this is it. Because I've always. This is a, a mad hot take, right? But I'm I've always been very dubious about crime figures and stuff. Like when it comes to like prosecutions, when it comes to arrests, I've always been very dubious about it. I always felt like that was a weird like you know that picture they have of of like um you know um police confiscating, you know, huge amounts of like money or guns and drugs and shit, and they put it on a big table, they were standing around like that, right? I always thought that sort of shit was like a weird attempt of like mind control to make sure that people don't try and do those type of things to kind of scare them into compliance when really the reality of it is most people who are good at crime get away with it that's my feeling about it i have a feeling that most people that are good at crime whatever the crime is especially when it comes to financial making money type of shit most of them get away with it that's what i think but i think they don't want to let you know that because obviously, the next thing you're going to do is that you're going to go stick up a fucking bank <laughs> and try it as well. So they want to fucking dissuade you and say, nah, it doesn't usually work. Everyone gets cool. There's fucking ink in those fucking cash machine boxes things. Bullshit, bro. I think most people get away with, get away with it or they fucking lie about the numbers. I swear to God. I swear it. I swear it. There's a, I have a feeling deep down inside that's the case. Again, I could be wrong, but... I rarely am, okay? I could be wrong, but I rarely am. 